In this video, I'm going to show you how you can filter the results data in Excel and save it to a new file. So we have a long list of data, over 9,000 lines here. And on sheet two, I'm going to just pick a number out of one of these um, for an account number. Let's um, pick this one and I'm going to copy it. So that's the one I want to, to filter out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it with A1. And then I'm going to run this. And then it saves it to a, a new file with the, with the account number as the name. And it saves it to your wherever you've specified for it to save. So now let me walk through the code for you. So the code is called search and copy. And so let's F8 through this. And so what I'm doing is I'm naming um, the active workbook to this workbook. This is so that you can go back to it. Um, I'm naming sheet one to data sheet. And I'm naming sheet two to report sheet. The account number is whatever you put into uh, report sheet A1. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to clear the contents of A1 and then we're going to activate the data sheet. Then what we are going to do is we're going to copy the heading row. It's always nice on your new file to have the heading row. And so that's basically what this is doing. And then it's going to individually go through each of the 9,000 records and find all the, all the uh, records that match this account number. So I'll go through a, a few of them and I will pause it because you don't need to see this go. So now it's filtered out all the data. It's going to name the file the account number and it's going to join to the path that I've specified here. And it's uh, set the new workbook to add. And now it's added a new report and now it's going to copy all of the stuff from the new from the report sheet to the new workbook and it's going to save the new workbook as the path that you've specified here and the file name and xlx and it's going to close a new workbook and that is all it is so if we go here and we um, refresh this we will see that we have a new workbook with this name on it I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.